Hey everyone, this is Shane from Game with Gas, and today we are entering the world of virtual reality. This will be my first VR content video. Um, so I have the first of what will be many VR videos. So um, sit back and enjoy. This first game is a horror game uh, called Delirium. It's a, uh, a demo, so I don't know exactly how long it's going to take, but I hope you enjoy it. So here we go with Delirium. Here we go. Can I grab you? Oh, sure can. Get out of here, wood. There we go. Oh, it's dark down there. I think it's just a wall. More well, dark down here too. Hello. You're a cassette player. Oh, hi. Day 28. Oh, I did everything right. <laughs> Okay, that was that was that was great. Oh god. I'm loving this. So it's dust in the air. Is that dust? Day one. I should have listened to this one first. This house is a fresh start we need with no old minds. It's a quiet spot, granite to code all day and meat to sculpt. There's something very special about this place. I can feel it, like a spark lighting my imagination. Very out of coming here, Anna and I realized how much we needed this. We were never meant to confined concrete cubicles and now that our baby boy is on the way, his first years will be spent running in the meadows and not stuck in some old skyscraper. I can't turn the light on. 3718. It seems like it's going to be important later. Hello? Oh, I think it's the bathroom. All right, I can. I think I can open this. Never mind. There's lots of other things to explore. Why is there a chain on this window? Whoa. Oh, missing vase. Okay. So I want. I guess you want me to find that. Let me play this up. My dreams are getting more vivid. I see an eye with a moving iris, like a hypnotic infinite well that I'm falling into. I subconsciously started to draw that symbol in more of my work lately. I feel like I'm seeing it everywhere. Without realizing, I found out today how much I've been neglecting Anna when she came into my workshop and told me that her vase is missing. It was a beautiful old golden vase that Anna had brought into the house. It was oh, her mother's gift that was meant a lot to her. She thought me to be partly responsible for its loss because of my sheer negligence. She was right in a way. If I'm too absent minded to even take care of our things, then how am I going to be an attentive husband and father in the coming months? I decided to scale back my work to spend more time with Anna. It was the best thing to make her forget the loss of her precious heirloom and to make amends in our relationship. Not 
Okay. I don't know what this TV show is, but I don't like it. Hey, the tree's coming through the window. This is not how trees work. Oh, hello, Mr. Owl. You're not going to hurt me, are you? They light candles, but they're burning with a blue flame, which is a bit odd. Oh, hello, what's in here? Can't really tell. That's hideous. What that stuff is. Oh, there's a tape player in there, though. Oh, well, I can break through. The window, I feel this sense of stillness around the house, filling me with a strange and uncomfortable sensation that I can't shake. But I channel that uneasiness into my work to make it more authentic. My dreams are helping me too. I've had the most vivid dreams in the last few nights than I've ever had before. All of this strangeness is great for my work, but I know it will worry Anna. So I'm keeping my workshop separate and drawing my mannequins and my dreams in the red room. The passcode is the number that I keep seeing in my dreams. 3718. I can't figure it out if it's a code or a date of some kind. I'll figure out its meaning soon. Hmm. 3718. What do you mean access tonight? Oh, you told me it was three seven one eight. You lied. Oh, another tape player. insisted that we put away all the mannequins that were stored here when we moved in. Of course, cleaning up this quaint and incredibly inexpensive place is not a chore for me, but for some reason I can't seem to part with these mannequins. He's gone. The no, thoughts are okay. inspiring for me, and the expressions on their face seem alive. Oh, God. I intend to study and to recreate it's them. It's a room of mannequins. enough to create my masterpiece. So I decide to store them in one place and make this red room my workshop. Oh. Oh god. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Oh. Oh sh- Oh. oh. Whatever was in there is gone now. Oh, oh, oh. I do not like this. Can't grab that. Maybe that's for the best. Music, stop it. Oh, <gasps> hello, sir. Oh, I'm just going to play this tape. I've been having the most lucid dreams I've ever had in the last few days of my life. Dreams so vivid, it feels like a separate reality. It's a world that's grander than our own. And the eye that I've been seeing in my dreams, it's Mother Siva. I didn't believe in her until I saw the signs everywhere in the house in my waking moments. She was watching me. Last night, she presented herself to me in my dreams. Except... It wasn't a dream. She was waiting for the right moment to show herself when I'm ready. 
It's in the box. I cannot say. Nothing. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, you're moving. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, get away. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't come through the doorway. Oh, he's coming through the doorway. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done. I don't have time to listen to tapes anymore. Oh god, the door is closed. Is it? Oh, it's opening. Oh, it's quite. Oh my god. All right. Oh, whoa. I'm outside now. This dude's following me. Oh, maybe he can't come outside. Lever. I'm sure you do. I thought I was looking for a vase, and now I'm looking for a lever as well. Oh, the lever is to open you. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything that looked like the lever. No lever. Oh god. Oh, ooh. Oh, scared by my shadow. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. It's good. We're all good. Outside. I thought you couldn't come outside, you bastard. While you're here, can you tell me where the lever is? Or the vase? Oh, I'm just going to go right past you. I thought there was nothing else in there that. Will the torch stop you? I don't think it is. Are you moving? Oh, you are. The torch is not helping. Um, I want to go through that door and then go over to the place where the fire is, but... Oh, God, I don't like this. Excuse me. Um, is there a lever? 
five six. Day twenty two. Is it two two? Well, two two five six. Listen to that tape. Oh God! Oh, hey dude, dude, dude! I've got the lever. Leave me alone. Oh, how do I? Oh God! How do I open this now that I've got? I don't know if I can sprint in this game, but that would be nice. Yeah, pull it. We've got some time to figure this out. There we go. What's the point of being here? I can't get out. Okay. Okay, well, it appears that I've entered purgatory, so I think we'll um, leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, this village short horror game, Valerium. But as always, au revoir, a vida sen, arrivederci, adios, ki ora, sayonara, dos vichanya, over and out. This is not a dream. This is not a dream. This is not a dream. No, no. What's happening to this place?